सिक्स पी एम पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय हसन गिलानी फर्स्ट हेडलाइंस Prime Minister has directed to provide immediate assistance to people affected by torrential rains. President has underscored the need to transform brotherly ties between Pakistan and Bahrain into mutually rewarding economic partnership. Minister for Housing has vowed to provide low-cost houses to vulnerable segments of the society. The United States has urged interim Taliban government to stop usage of Afghan soil for launching attacks inside Pakistan. Pakistan has denounced Indian authorities decision to declare Jammu and Kashmir People's Freedom League and four factions of Jammu and Kashmir People's League as unlawful associations. 93 more Palestinians were martyred by Israeli forces during the last 24 hours. in Gaza and now the news in detail Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has directed to provide immediate assistance to people of affected by torrential rains during a meeting in Islamabad today he said the aid should be dispersed in a transparent manner he directed the National Disaster Management Authority to promptly complete a joint survey of affected areas in collaboration with the provinces the prime minister said the aid should be reached to only the affected people after completing the survey he said the affected people cannot be left alone under any circumstances shahbaz sharif also directed to formulate a comprehensive plan to cope with natural disasters The Prime Minister was given a detailed briefing by NDMA regarding assistance to the affected people and rescue and relief efforts. The meeting was informed that NDMA will soon complete a joint survey in cooperation with the provinces, especially the Balochistan government, to verify the fully and partially damaged houses. The meeting was informed that a total of 766,000 kilograms of dry ration will be distributed in Gawadar till Sunday. 388,000 kg of ration had been distributed till the 16th of this month the prime minister directed the provinces to cooperate with ndma in dealing with natural calamities President Asif Ali Zardari has underscored the need for transforming the brotherly ties between Pakistan and Bahrain into mutually rewarding economic partnership he was talking to commander of the National Guard of Bahrain General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa who called on him in Islamabad today the president said Pakistan attaches great value to its fraternal ties with Bahrain which are based on shared religion culture and history and is desirous to further strengthen them he expressed the belief that Pakistan will grow stronger as it has immense potential to become a prosperous country on the occasion the visiting dignitary felicitated the president on assuming the office for the second time and expressed the hope that pakistan would prosper under his leadership he reiterated bahrain's continued support to pakistan President Asif Ali Zardari has felicitated Russian President Vladimir Putin on his victory in presidential elections. In a post on his X handle, he expressed the confidence that the relations between Pakistan and Russia would grow further under the dynamic leadership of Vladimir Putin. Minister for Law Azam Nazir Tarar has said the government will soon introduce a mechanism to provide relief to the common man talking to the media persons in Islamabad today he said talks would be held with the allied parties on this matter he said under the mechanism strict action would be taken against the horrors and profiteers the minister said the PMLN had always precedence given to interests of state over its politics federal minister for maritime affairs Kesar Ahmed Sheikh has said that all outstanding issues of ports would be addressed on priority basis to steer the country out of economic challenges. He was talking to a delegation of Port Workers Federation Pakistan in Islamabad today. Kesar Sheikh said exports through ports would be enhanced with the best policies of the government. 
Minister for Housing and Works Mia Riaz Hussain Pirzada has said that the government is committed to provide low-cost and affordable living opportunities to the poor and vulnerable segments of the society. During a meeting of the Federal Government Employees Housing Authority in Islamabad today, he emphasized the importance of ensuring that plots are allotted strictly on merit. Riaz Hussain Pirzada urged the identification and removal of any irregularities to uphold transparency in the allotment process. This is Radio Pakistan. A tripartite agreement has been signed between Pakistan, USA and Saudi Arabia to revolutionize healthcare delivery. The agreement has been reached between Infotech Group Pakistan, Valerian Systems USA and Obekan Investment Group Saudi Arabia during the LEAP 2024 tech conference in Riyadh. The agreement aims to introduce digital health platforms and usher in a new era of innovation. Scrutiny of nomination papers filed for 48 vacant seats of Senate concluded today. Revised list of candidates will be issued on 26th of this month, while candidates can withdraw their nomination papers by 27th of this month. Polling will be held on 2nd of next month. An accountability court in Islamabad has acquitted former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's sons, Hassan and Hussain Nawaz, in the Avonfield flagship and Al-Azizia cases. Accountability Court Judge Nasir Javed Rana announced the reserve judgment in Islamabad today and accepted the acquittal pleas of Hassan Nawaz and Hussain Nawaz. The United States has urged the interim Taliban government in Afghanistan to ensure that terrorist attacks are not launched from their soil. Answering questions during a regular media briefing in Washington, Principal Deputy Spokesperson of the U.S. State Department Vedant Patel said Washington deeply regrets the loss of life and injustices sustained during the attack in Pakistan. He urged both sides to address their differences. The U.S. Deputy Spokesperson said the United States remain committed to ensuring that Afghanistan never again becomes a safe haven for terrorists. He said Washington is in regular communication with Islamabad through counterterrorism dialogue and other bilateral consultations. Pakistan has denounced the Indian authorities' decision to declare Jammu and Kashmir People's Freedom League and four factions of Jammu and Kashmir People's League as unlawful associations. In a statement, Foreign Office spokesperson Mamtaz Zahra Baloj said, Pakistan also rejects the decision to extend the ban on Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front Yasin Malik faction for five more years. With a fresh notification, a total of 14 Kashmiri political parties have become outlawed in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The spokesperson said the affiliates of these parties were also facing persecution. All Party Suryat Conference has raised serious concerns over the worsening human rights situation in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The EPHC, in a statement in Srinagar, pointed out that India's Hindutva policies pose a direct threat to the peace of entire South Asian region. The EPHC urged international human rights organizations to pressure India to release more than 4,000 illegally detained Huryat leaders and activists from Indian jails. 93 more Palestinians have been martyred and 142 injured in the last 24 hours as Israel continues its onslaught on the besieged Gaza Strip. In a statement, Palestinian Health Ministry said around 32,000 people have been martyred and over 73,000 wounded by Israeli attacks in Gaza since October last year. And finally, the weather. Mainly dry and partly cloudy weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. However, light rain wind with thunderstorm and light snowfall over hills is likely at isolated places in Gilgit Baltistan and Upper Khabar Pakhtunkhwa during night hours. And now the headlines once again. Prime Minister has directed to provide immediate assistance to people affected by torrential rains. President has underscored the need to transform brotherly ties between Pakistan and Bahrain into mutually rewarding economic partnership. Minister for Housing has vowed to provide low-cost houses to vulnerable segments of the society. 
The United States has urged interim Taliban government to stop usage of Afghan soil for launching attacks inside Pakistan. 93 more Palestinians were martyred by Israeli forces during the last 24 hours in Gaza. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan news official.